today we're going to be going over Reynolds consumer product stock as well as Amcor stock. So these are both very similar business models, okay? Reynolds is more of a, they own Hefty, they, they make, you know, paper products, they make packaging, all that stuff. Amcor also does packaging, but they do different things like plastic containers and different things like that. So Amcor is a bigger company, almost three times the size of Reynolds, okay? Amcor's market cap is 17.8 billion, while Reynolds is 6.5 billion. And as you can see here, I put check marks on which side that that stock won that category. So the goal here is to pick which one is the better buy for you know the, the, between these two stocks. So Reynolds has a three percent dividend, but it's growing faster, and the payout ratio is 34 percent. While Amcor pays a four point four percent dividend, but it is they've been decreasing it, and the payout ratio is sixty eight percent, which means that it's not as sustainable, and they're they're using so much of their money on dividends that they're not going to be able to grow it like Reynolds can. Then we have the one year performance of the stock. Reynolds is down thirteen percent. Amcor is down seven percent. And keep in mind that both of these companies did go public a little over a year ago, right around the time that the, the pandemic started, but Reynolds is down 13%. So this one is, is actually at a trading at a better deal than Amcor from that metric. Then we have shares outstanding. Over the past year, Reynolds has increased its share count by 11%, while Amcor has decreased it by 3.8%. So since Reynolds is adding 11% of the shares, that's gonna dilute the shares and make them worth less. So Amcor wins that category. Then we have revenue and earnings growth. This one is very hard to tell. I put the check mark for Reynolds just because of how high the earnings growth was and I was kind of prioritizing earnings over revenue, but it really depends. I mean, it depends what the companies are going for and what you're looking for in the companies and, what's, and what state they're in in their cycle. So let's say, Reynolds has 17% revenue growth for the year and 61% earnings growth, while Amcor has 31% revenue growth and 42% earnings. So both of them are fantastic numbers for both companies, but Amcor did better with growing revenues while Reynolds did better with growing earnings. So that one's a tough one to call, but I would probably say Reynolds just because of how high the earnings growth is. Then we have PE and Ford PE ratios. Reynolds trades at a PE of 15 and a Ford PE of 16, while Amcor trades at a PE of 21 and a Ford PE of 17. So Reynolds wins that category because the PE ratio is lower, so you're getting it at a cheaper valuation from that standpoint. Free cash flow, when you analyze the free cash flow growth and just look at it over the past couple quarters and the past couple years, Amcor has been doing a much better job. Reynolds, is, Reynolds free cash flow has actually been decreasing and they have had some negative years. So it's definitely looking better for Amcor on that side. Then we have operating margin. Reynolds wins in this category because they have nearly 19% operating margin while Amcor has 10%. Return on equity, Reynolds has a 27% return and Amcor has 18%. So Reynolds takes that category. Last one, we have price to sales and Reynolds has a 1.9 price to sales while Amcor has a 1.4. Both of these are pretty low numbers compared to a lot of other stocks, but Amcor has a 1.4 and that's lower, so they win that category. So it definitely depends for what you're, it depends on what you're looking for when you're deciding between these two stocks, but maybe Amcor for the dividend, a 4% dividend is better in your opinion than a 3% just because it's higher. But if you look at it from the standpoint of Reynolds is gonna be able to grow their dividend and Amcor is really not, and they've also been cutting their dividend or slowing it down. So Reynolds kind of take, takes that category. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six checks for Reynolds and one, two, only three checks for Amcor. So from this standpoint, Reynolds looks like a much better buy than Amcor. So. I'm gonna keep an eye on these both, and if they, right now, I don't love where they're trading at right now, but if they were to drop maybe another 10% or 15%, then it would definitely be interesting 
and it would I would definitely consider buying one of these. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.